de Blasio. Yeah. I've been saying he's missing in action. Yeah. You ran for New York City public advocate. I was in the race for a little bit. I saw you in action. I saw the way you talked to the people. You really represented the good things about government. But you took some shots at de Blasio. You were critical of de Blasio. Yeah, well, I, when I got his first endorsement in this ridiculous presidential campaign yeah. from the mayor of Orangeburg, South Carolina, population 13,000. Does this mean anything? No. Uh, and first of all, I, I've been an anti de Blasio Democrat uh, for years. I ran in 2017, right, when all the Democrats lined up uh, to support him for his reelection campaign. I ran against him uh, and was uh, on the ticket with Sal Albanese, right, uh, against Bill de Blasio. Bill de Blasio promised New York that he wasn't going to run for president, okay, in 2017. Right. We played right? that so clip earlier on Liquid Lunch. Um, we also had Shelley Fawley, who ran against uh, Gillibrand, and she made a promise that she was going to serve out her term. So did de Blasio in his debate with Sal Albanese. That's right, that's right. And he gets this endorsement now. He's, he's at 1%. He gets endorsement from a mayor. Sam, does it mean anything? At Liquid Lunch, I've been saying as a New Yorker, we put him on the side of a milk carton. They want it on this side. Um, because he's missing in action. Look, uh, for different think? reasons than the professor, I fully support this. So I support him running because it's... Daisy's not in New York, and it's Daisy's not screwing up the city. And not only that, uh, <laughs> the, he, he is the mayor of the 1%. He has surrendered New York City to big real estate, uh, surrendered our neighborhoods, our small businesses. I was at a press conference, I organized a press conference with the uh, National Latino Chambers of Commerce and the Chinese Chambers of Commerce, uh, declaring him the most anti-small business mayor in the history of New York City. This guy doesn't care about the middle class, he doesn't care about the poor, we have record displacement, record homelessness, he is a terrible he should have been person. indicted, but for the SDNY being full of Democrats, he wasn't. Now we get to the good stuff, but we got to wrap this one up. We're going to have a meatball. We're going to shake hands. We're going to be friends. The guys that know where the rubber meets the road, the bodies are buried. David Eisenbach, Sam Nunberg, thank you. You're watching Liquid Lunch.